boy, did you see <clears throat> the newest Bill Gates interview? Oh, you're going to like this one. This uh, Look, I don't know who this person interviewing him is, but this bitch goes in hard. Now, one of the issues that's dogged you is, is that of your relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Do you regret... He really likes... You know what Bill Gates really likes? Every time you bring up that after he was convicted pedophile, he had several dinners with him. So much so that his wife said it was one of the reasons they got divorced. Yep. I believe at one point his wife... I saw in an interview, his wife said, uh, in an interview after they got divorced, his wife was telling one of the women who was interviewing her that um, one time she asked to meet Jeffrey Epstein because she wanted to know who this guy was that Bill Gates kept spending so much time with. And she said when she met him, she was immediately repulsed by him. I mean, and look. She was like, look, I'm I'm not saying she's a good <laughs> she's, she's evil too, but... I do think there's some people that are just like, no thanks. There's something about this guy. Even if it's well, self-preservation. Yeah, you, you, you could because you could be evil and still be like, Yeah, I don't want him around my kids or in this house. Exactly. You know? Fair enough. Like, you'll dump sewage, you know, out on the fucking stick somewhere, but not near your mansion. Exactly. Now one of the issues that's dogged you is is that of your relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Do you regret the relationship that you maintained with him against Melinda's advice and wishes? Oh, I've said that I'm, I mean, this is, you're going way back in mm -hmm. time, but yeah. I, 2012. I, New audience. I will say for the, you know, oh, over a hundred time, yeah, I shouldn't have had uh, dinners with him. You see how snarky he gets over a hundred times. It's a big deal. This is not like, this is not like saying like, hey man, when's Windows X5 coming out? You know what I mean? This is uh, more of a, hey, you were the guy who probably has compromised like so many powerful pe people. Um, Epstein had a way of sexually compromising people. Is that what Melinda was warning you about? <sighs> I don't know who this reporter is, but, you know, kudos to her I, for bringing like it up. Yeah. No. I mean, it, it's. No, no that's I, stupid. You're stupid. I had dinner with him uh, and that's all. And that you regret the relationship, the acquaintance. That I had dinner with him. Mm. And, and the relationship between the foundation and Epstein, which There was... never was any relationship. Of any... Yeah, well, not but, a, there, not but a, there was. But there absolutely was. He, he, <sighs> oh, oh, oh. it's weird that you also have all the same opinions about like the world and depopulation as fucking Jeffrey Epstein did as well. It's kind of weird that you guys agreed on a lot, but not Remember? the pedophile thing, huh? That was the only thing you guys didn't agree on. Man, Jeffrey Epstein, somebody who lives his entire life with absolutely zero guilt or remorse for what he did, all of a sudden had a moment of guilt and decided to spontaneously kill himself when fucking cameras were out and the guards were asleep. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. People... It's crazy. Dude. I'm afraid. Oh, I would I, say I, almost I'm, unlikely. I'm afraid people think Jeffrey Epstein couldn't change. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking asshole. That's child that's menu at Chickalinis. Yeah, the kids menu at Chickalinis. <laughs> Bryce, S that was probably the best fucking Jeffrey Epstein joke I've ever heard. <laughs> sloppy, sloppy Just sex trafficked minors. <laughs> Slop them up. Slop them up. Pour water on them. Uh, um.